thanks so much for coming back to Jake's Face Reacts. Um, continuing my top, or not my top 10, your top 10 Eurovision songs from the year 2016. Um, counting them down from 10 to 1, I've now made it to the song in the country that finished third. That would be Russia. Um, the artist is Sergei Lazarev. And the song is You Are The Only One. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I've heard the song, at least, at least like, parts of it. Um, and I've seen clips of the performance. But I have not seen it um, in the quality that it's about to be presented and all the way through. Um, so, I'm excited because, obviously, there was a big sort of thing between Russia, Australia, Ukraine that year and um now i'm interested to see the three again for myself now and sort of see what was happening with each of them so this is russia That hair, though. Climbing on a screen. Okay, I'm gonna need some like behind the scenes links. I'm gonna need y'all to send me some clips of how that happened um, because my mind cannot even, my mind can't figure that out. Like, how was he walking on a screen that had been vertical unless it turned horizontal at some point? But even then, how was it? I, I'm gonna need some, uh, this is gonna require some explanation from you guys. Look, that performance was absolutely incredible. Like everything about it, I'm still like I kind of want to watch it over again right this very second so that I can see if I can try to figure out how that all happened. But um, I feel like for just for me, um, 
the the song sort of was kind of um kind of like the same you know and it just like stay it, it never really left there whether it was the courses or the course or the verses leading into them um it kind of relied primarily on the staging which was epic which is how it probably finished so high but the song itself i mean i didn't feel like it was that great i mean i, I think that bulgaria's song was better i think that france's song was better um i think i would probably stop there but those two alone i think had better songs um their performances were in no competition with that because this performance was just in a league of its own and it's not that the song was bad don't get me wrong it was just that i it sounded kind of the same all the way through to me um and i was so distracted by the performance aspect of it that i couldn't really focus that much on the song but from what i can remember it, it was very sort of like staccato and very i, I don't want to say the same note because it wasn't but it was like the same like five notes that he sang uh, over and over again i love that russia wow Okay, again, explain to me down there, or give me some links from behind the scenes to let me know how this happened. How did he do that? I'm still trying to figure it out. Hmm. Alright. Peace.